we need your support. Click the like buttons below. Now on to the video. Welcome to readtheticket.com. Today we're going to review a stock that is down, pretty much out, but it could be on the comeback. Now, a website that we have no association with has done some fundamental analysis of the stock, and it's a good review. Um, the website's called Turn turnaroundstockinvesting.com. You can see it on the screen, this is the YouTube channel, and in this video, uh, a gentleman named Bruce discusses um, CVR Partners, which is a sugar-based fertilizer stock. Now recently fertilizer stocks have been hammered in the tariff wars because of the um, supposed lack of demand from China, because China's a big buyer, and they've sold off, um, probably the overstock, sorry, the overvalued stocks have been sold off. UAN is in the, in the bottoms, so they're pretty much undervalued, they've got some uh, balance sheet problems, Bruce points that out. But he also points out that they're fixing things, and also points out if there's a change in price in the uh, um, uh, uranium, so not uranium, uh, urea-based fertilizer, that their stock would do handsomely. So it's like a um, really bad going to bad and going to good. So if a price moves from a really bad to bad, it's better. When it goes from bad to good, it's even better. So if it goes from a three dollar to a six dollar, a six dollar to twelve dollar, you buy the the rate of change. So this is what Bruce is pointing out. So I suggest you, I'll, I'll put a link on the website to this um, video, but I suggest you watch it. Now what I want to compare, the reason why I'm looking at this, is that Bruce is looking at the many places in entry and exits. He's not a Wyckoffian, he doesn't use Wyckoff logic, he doesn't um, say, apply the same principles, he doesn't really look at volume. He um, pretty much, I don't know what he's doing, he uses trend lines or something. But you look at the end of the video, you'll see that he's considering his placements. Now what I wanted to highlight is that if you're uh, using a turnaround type stock investing type strategy where fundamentals are really bad, like really, really bad, and they're going to improve to bad, then they're going to improve from bad to good, Wyckoff logic is excellent for turnaround type investing. Um, and I've been following this one for a while. Um, I saw his recommendations of buying, but um, I uh, explained why I didn't like them. But let, have a look at that video, and we'll go in to look at the stock. So right now we're looking at UAN or CV Partners, and we're looking at a monthly chart with our steps on it. Now, um, as you can see here, uh, there's not really a selling climax. We've got a, you know with some large volume. It's always good to see, you know, here's the, here's our big uh, big big consolidation top, right? Here's our bit of an LPS monthly chart. You know, it's really hard to say, but price broke here, right? Came up and tested broke there, fell down. As you can look at the thrust, the thrust, thrust, thrust. The thrusts, well, maybe I'll do it better. Where are we? Thrust, oh, come here. That's better. These are the thrusts down. Oh, come on. The old clicking thing. That's better. Thrust down, thrust down. The thrusts are weakening, so the power thrust down and price action are deteriorating. That basically means demand is stepping in. Okay, demand had no interest at these levels. They just the supply came in was too strong, and as you can see, the supply are dissipating and the demand is setting setting in. And if you really want to highlight it, this last thrust down was pathetic. The volume died off dramatically, and here you can see the large volume. The thrust, this last thrust down. Um, was well met the buyer started the buying up so the damage wasn't so bad then you had this then you had this uh, big area here with big big volume but it didn't the price didn't go up so this last part of supply was soaked up by demand so those people who have been losing on the stock have got out and we got um, the strong hands taken over now we've got a bit of a bump up here but what's very important in this so what's very important in this chart is activity, activity, activity. There you go. Activity, act oh, come on. Activity, activity, activity. Right, volume, volume, volume. Then two months of pretty much nothing going down to a low. Right. So activity, activity, activity. Then uh, dullness. Dullness is always important 
when you're after period of activity, especially in bottom stocks, that means whatever's going on prior here, the changing hands, the shuffling, the, the buying, the selling, the you know rushing around, getting rid of your stock, adjusting portfolios, it's pretty much done. Right, so the, the bulls are taken over here. They're buying, they're buying up from all the weekends. The informed are buying. They're realising there's a change going on. Those have given up and they've got to release their portfolios. Have done that. Pretty much the two months have passed, and people say, well, you know, there's no more selling. There's no more supply, and they suddenly realise, well, we can start marking this baby up because we've accumulated all around here. They've probably got an average price of about four, or five bucks. They can probably push this thing up to five or six dollars and um, have a equal position, you know, like a, a, a net net balance position on their portfolio. See how this volume's changing? So that's very important signal. Dullness after period of activity um, is very important. For example, this would be phase A of the Wyckoff accumulation. Phase B because we're going to do some confusion here, and we may be looking at phase C here. Okay, and this is our Wyckoff on balance volume tool. What it does, it shows the volume trend and also a very important demand and supply pressures. Obviously we have a supply pressure here, we bounce up and we push straight down. So we have, we go up, a little short covering, and it only lasted two months and supply came straight in. Supply, supply. Right, then we get a flattening out here, right? You know, no more supply to push it down, a little bit of a try. And obviously we get a change here in demand. It just highlights the obvious. In some charts, it's just good to confirm. Okay, we have a demand. You know, here we have a demand point there, because it turns around. See demand and volume, right? Demand point, supply point. You know, it just just highlights the obvious. Where are the demand and supply points? So what does that mean? Well, you can put horizontal lines on your demand and supply points to see where they're coming over. Okay, like to just see up here, the, the shortening of the thrust, very very important. Now you'll see in Bruce's video he's examining an entry in these levels here, which is you know not a Wyckoff type thinking. Right, okay, we'll scroll down a bit here. So here's the more um, you know close up daily chart. I think Bruce is looking around about entry here, maybe here, stop down here, or whatever. Okay, whoops. Oh, by the way, when that happens, you've stick to the whole chart, just a clock on the side. So I'll go down to the weekly chart. That's better. Than that. Where is the weekly? Chart? Here we are. Here, here. Here we are. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay, so here's this point in figure chart. Okay. Now what's important to note here, point in figure chart with the volume per bar. As you said before, look at the big volume spikes. See volume spike here. See there, with a bit of a volume spikes here, volume spikes there, volume spike. See how the volume spikes down are equal to the movement in the point in figure, right? And all of a sudden we have a large volume spike in this, in this range here. See this volume here? It doesn't go anywhere. So we've got all that volume on a down point in figure. These are waves, by the way. This is a down wave. That is incredibly bullish. You've got all that volume pushing it down, but it doesn't go down. That means the buyers are in the opposite. And if you consider the, for example, we have high volume bars here. It doesn't really, doesn't really do it. So it's not quite bullish yet. We have this moderate volume bar, and we're making some gains here. So you can see there's a change of character, a change of behavior going on, some sort of change going on here. So as a Wyckoff trader, you're saying, okay, the supply dynamics are changing here, the demand dynamics are moving in here. They're not totally in control here because there's massive resistance, so we want to see some testing going on. We want to see a phase C develop. We want to see our, lo our last point of supplies, what have you. Um, where's my weekly? Oh, here's a monthly chart. I thought I had a weekly chart in here. Right, we'll go back to this chart. This is more important. I you might just turn on my weekly chart. I thought I had that. Uh, what did I do with that? Uh, why would I do that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here we are. So what we're looking at now, the tool we're looking at now is readyourticker.com swing chart pop out. Here you can load it up to nine custom designs to review a chart. Just like a, as a doctor looks at a, a, a patient's chart, he gets looks at all his blood pressures and his whatever he does. You know, you, you're in hospital, you're lying in bed, the doctor comes to the end of your bed, and you, he's looking for a whole lot of statistics and seeing what your case is and see how you're doing. It's just like here, this is just a statistical scan of what's going in, on in the chart. You can move in averages, you can have Wyckoff studies, you can do trend lines, you can do whatever you want. Just to get an idea whether it needs further investigation, I, I use it on the uh, swing 
swing scanner, you push it out and you can see the swing scanner pop out. The same with the alpha chart pop out. So what I, I've got to reload, did I reload? I able to reload. Okay, so UAN, it has a, it has a change in fundamentals. That's great. But we also, we also want to see when, as a retail trader, that price action is changing to show that the markup phase is changing. So Wyckoff phases is different from uh, balance sheet fundamentals. If you're going to trade off balance sheet fundamentals, you're going to be called a value investor and you're going to have to have a, a lot of money to handle drawdowns because the correlation between balance sheet fundamentals and price and volume demand aspects are completely different. So you've got to understand the difference between the two or accommodate the two. Ah, here we are. Here's my weekly chart I wanted to show you here. Here we have all these large volume down bars and volume look like large volume look at large volume and the swing is coming down swing or swinging and here we get the sideways pattern here right all this volume going in there and it's not going down so what's going on some people are buying the stuff it's called accumulation here we have big volume up bars all this big volume stuff and the big volume weight. but it's not really going there because supply is capping it demand is coming in but suppliers capping, or even demand might be capping itself because they do not want price to go up too far. Okay, so we draw our little horizontal lines in, we call that there. Okay, so we've got, a, we've got our sort of, there's not really a sudden climax on this, there is a bit of, you know, heated activity here. So we'll call that, um, you know, automatic reaction, some testing phase gone here. But what's more important, see all this dullness here, all this activity has stopped, it's gone downhill sorry dull here that basically means is that if you're a demand guy and you know there's lots of shorts around maybe the short coverings uh, some you know short covering can be squeezed up here to get it higher but anybody who is selling is done so you don't want to start pushing the stock up you know pushing the stock up with buying shares hitting the bid and someone comes and tanks it again you know you want to be clear those people are trying to start down you want to make sure the big players now if you've been in the stock a while you, you got to, you know, you're on the trading desk and you see the brokers coming. You got a fair idea which broker's selling it down. The, the big boys know that. Oh, you know, broker down the road here and broker up the road there. The broker in Ohio, look, he's selling somebody's stock up here. He's coming. And he's been a big seller. So once those brokers disappear, you know, like on the on the um, number two screen, uh, they realise they're not there anymore, right? And we can start buying it up, and we don't see those brokers coming in, moving the stuff. So they know the market's clear to market up. Now, as a retail trader. Unless you've got all those fancy screens, I, I don't see that. I'm waiting for the change of character. And whenever I see dullness after activity, I'm getting excited. So I want to I want to see what's going on. So now, what what is the status of the chart? The status of the chart is we have a sign of strength here. This is definitely strength up to resistance. Um, doesn't mean it's a um, you know Merry Christmas or anything. We've got to wait for a bit of a pullback. Okay, we want to like to see a bit of a hold up at resistance because whenever price goes to resistance. It always attracts a bit of supply. It's just natural because somebody who bought at the low, they're going to sell at the highs. You know, they're, you know, they're not. They're a bit cheaper. So they're not going to wait to get the six bucks. They're going to just start adjusting their portfolios now. So when price goes up to four dollars at resistance, what happens? People who bought at the lows, oh come here. Uh, people who bought at the lows are taking profits. Uh, people who are still short in this or whatever, they suddenly realise, oh, they're in the wrong. So they start getting out of resistance. They hold the stock down by doing some supply to get out. They realise they're wrong and maybe going long. So we're going to, have to. I would like to see some sort of springboard action at four, just to prove that we're ready to go higher. I don't want to see a big correction down to three, maybe down to three point five. So I'm watching this. We got pretty bearish indicators all around, but they're changing. You see, so UAN is at some fundamentals. I think the fertilizer prices are changing on the urea side. I believe people are looking uh, are taking the money out of the overvalued fertilizer stocks and putting into undervalued this undervalued fertilizer stock. So you might see this, you know, bounce up after going down to three point five, two point, you know, three zero, something like that. Or maybe it's a bit far, three point two, three point five. It could with that cause here, it could really quite get out, get up to the six dollar level. So, you know, that's that's a pretty good trade, it's a hundred percent gain. Uh, we want to look at that, but as you can see, here's a bit of here's a bit of story. Here's the weekly moving averages. The weekly moving average is always good. The 50 and the 100. As you can see, the 100 M, uh, SMA has been pretty much a, a pretty powerful creek. You know, pretty powerful resistance. So that's right at the value of the 100 MA is four dollars 14, and the next MA, which is about the six bucks uh, 59. So I reckon 
if again, as we said here, this is the um, our little pattern we're analyzing the cause and effect. There's the cause, some sign of strength, maybe some pullbacks. Uh, the effect will take us up to the um, 200 weekly SMA, which is a fair trade. That's quite that's quite to look at. That's good to look at. So I'll be watching this pattern very closely. I think your trade is on as people rebalance their fertilizer stocks and look for value. Um, so here's the resistance here, so upper resistance there. So that's, so you know, for guess it's six bucks in the next, you know, rolling six months or year, or, you know, depending on what happens in the wider market. This is definitely one to watch from a Wyco point of view. Um, very clear sign of change of character. Some sign of strength coming in. Yep, this is one to watch. Thanks very much for watching.